very much. My name is, is Kevin McGarren, and uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. What, did Sean and Una McGarren have a baby? Well, yes, yes, they did. Um, and the result of their love. Um, thanks for all for coming out here. Uh, thanks, thanks for not emigrating. That's always an option for a Thursday night. So, good on ye. Uh, stick it out. Uh, there'll be a raffle at the end of the next millennium. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll talk about myself. Uh, I, I just got out of a 10-year relationship, and like you know yourselves, after 10 years of going out with the same person, things tend to, sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't want to be crude. Um, so, you know, we were, towards the end, we were looking for ways to spice up our, our erotic life, and um, somebody suggested edible underwear. So I said, all right. So uh, I got her a pair of long johns made out of spam. <laughs> and I sat her down, I met her eat every bit of it, and just nothing. Just, she ended up getting quite sick as a result of it. I'd been wearing them for several days. But uh, such, such is life. Um, but I mean, people are harder to please these days with the internet. Like, I mean, when I was a kid, we had teletext, and the porn and that was shit. Uh, <laughs> like, when I was a kid, I'd get a horn of a number three on its side. <laughs> just because it looked like a pair of nipple tits or an arse, you know, whatever you're into. Either that or like a bag of cement draped suggestively over a block. Um, <laughs> that would do it on a wet day. Uh, one thing that foreigners have brought into this country, and that's racism. None of that before they arrived. Um, I think it's something they should take a little bit of responsibility for. Um, they're very good looking though, foreigners. Uh, I suppose they like to outsource their semen, whereas we tend to shop local here in Ireland. Um, like I'm from Cavan, I grew up in the same village where my parents and my parents, my family, has been breeding for the last 200 years. Like it's, it's a miracle I've eyes facing forward at all. Just. Poor, boulder-headed children with eyes drawn on and pencil wandering around. It's sad, you know. Strangers in the night, exchanging trousers. Um, I, I, I like being from Cavan, and I like, I like talking to old people about, uh, you know, life growing up in the 40s, and it's, it sounds so tough. And uh, I think they're full of shit, to be honest. I'm only saying that because I know when I'm old, and everyone here who grew up in the 80s and 90s, you will do the exact same and lie your holes off on how tough the 90s was, like it was a Frank McCourt novel. Like, you know, I'll be tucking my grandchild in in his hover bed, hopefully, at that stage. And he'll say, Grandad, you know, what was life like in the 90s? I'd say, well, growing up in Cavan towards the last days of the 20th century, it was a very harsh and unforgiving landscape. The country was out of work. The commitments had just come out and everyone was at home trying to learn the saxophone. <laughs> I lost my father to the Great War. He fought for Nintendo. <laughs> I remember the day a couple of road, a couple of Mega Drive soldiers burst in and whipped him in a game of road rash. <laughs> of course, school was no picnic. There was a paper shortage, so we used to have to write all our homework on our faces. You go home in the evenings, barefoot, of course, on roads paved with broken Heineken bottles. You go into the house and Mammy'd have a lovely shoe full of soup for her little man. Of course, we'd no spoons in the 90s. We used to, used to have to use bits of turf to soak up the soup. And you'd suck the bit of turf the whole evening, so you would. I knew one lad who got addicted to sucking turf with no soup in it at all. And he died. So, night Seamus, and say your space prayers. Uh, we'll believe in several gods at that stage. Um, but people say it's very brave, you know, to, to get up on stage, and you know, people say you're very brave what you do, you know, talking to people, and, and they're 100% right. Um, this, this is the bravest thing any of you will ever experience now without melting. Um, but do you know what I think is brave, Sugar Club? No? <laughs> I'll do that again. Do you know what I think is brave, Sugar Club? <laughs> That's too much, bring it halfway down. Do you know what I think is brave, Sugar Club? It's a perfect amount. Um, bravery to me now is a single father getting up every day at half seven and getting his kids ready for school and feeding them and everything. Getting up every single day 
and gone off to his job as a ghost hunter. That's bravery to me now, folks. <laughs> so, my name has been Kevin O'Garnay. Thank you. <laughs>